safety man. Um, when Councilman Matt Murray was talking about uh, health, it's just a, a reminder. I wanted to remind all the city of Houston employees about their health assessment. Um, the health assessment is due on September 30th, and many of you know if you do not complete your health assessment, that you will be assessed a $25 fee. So I'm encouraging everyone, if you have not uh, completed your health assessment, please do so. I know the city of Houston is sending out emails and um, doing the telephone mass alert, but I just want to remind everyone to please complete your, um, your health assessments. They are due, or you will be assessed at $25 um, health assessment fee. So that's just a reminder uh, to our city of Houston employees. On yesterday, Monday, September 24th, I had the awesome opportunity to celebrate Alfred Brantley's birthday. Many of you know Alfred. Alfred is the one that's always at the mayor's office, especially events, setting up all of our microphones. So I want to say happy birthday, Alfred. It was a, a wonderful day um, that I celebrated with you and your wonderful staff. Uh, and again, happy birthday. On Monday, a museum parts of the neighborhood hosted its group of, of 33 designers of the, in early August to clarify Houston's iconic museum parks of the neighborhood, home to over 16 cultural centers, Herman Park, and hundreds of residences. On September 24th, the Rice Design Alliance presented the results of the concerns presented to Rice University School of Architecture neighborhood teams to provide various uh, input for the super neighborhood park area, and it was held at the Asia uh, Asian house that's located right there on South Road, a beautiful building. I want to encourage everyone who has not had the opportunity to tour Asian house to take that opportunity to do that. So I just want to thank Museum Park Super Na Neighborhood and the Rice uh, Design Alliance for their presentation on how we can make a better uh, museum area for walkable, pedestrian friendly communities. So again, thank you so much for your uh, input on that. Just want to have a save the day. Uh, our office want to thank Risha Baby the University of Houston uh, Student Government Association, as well as the Texas Southern University Student Government Association, NAACP. They're partnered with our office. We're having a big um, get out to vote, last chance uh, party in the park, in Peyton Park on next Saturday. I know many of my colleagues received invitations to just to come out and encourage our students and that young group the importance of voting. Uh, it is a, a nonpartisan event, so we voted all parts across the line just to come out and just talk about uh, voting. And I just want to thank University of Houston and for those students at Texas Southern Peru just taking the charge and Risha Peru putting this event together. So it's set the date October 6th for party in the park for voting. Uh, the event starts at I think at 10 o'clock to around about 2 on next Saturday. And so I just want to encourage everyone to please come out. Just a reminder about Tuesday of our National Night Out. For those communities who want our office to come out, please continue to send in your uh, invitation. It's going to be a very uh, full night. So again, uh, remind everyone, Tuesday is National Night Out. On Saturday, September 29th, um, Yolanda Adams will be hosting her health fair from 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock at the Sunnyside Park. And as always, I want to thank Yolanda Johnson in my office for working really closely uh, with Radio 1 and Yolanda Adams and of course uh, Ms. Johnson at the Sunnyside Park and as well the Houston Park and Recreation Department for helping to put on this annual event. Again, it's September 29th, Yolanda Adams Health Fair from 10 to 2 at the Sunnyside Park, which is located at 3502 Belford. And so the stage performances would be Brian Courtney Wilson and as well our very own Yolanda Adams. Just want to remind everyone that the <coughs> community for the wonderful t-shirts and as well just remind um, the staff and the community who's interested in attending the community you uh, learning together to strengthen neighborhoods on Saturday, September 29th at 8 o'clock to 1.15 p.m. at the United Way, Grady Houston, 50 Wall Drive. Remember, there is a $5 fee per person, and as we part my understanding from in the past, um, that is a well, well informed event, so I encourage everyone just to, to come out. I would just like to ask our community to continue to keep our officers who were injured, injured yesterday in your prayers. I know that Mayor Park and Chief McClellan was out of, at the hospital, and my understanding is that one of the officers is still in critical condition in the hospital. So I ask you just to continue just to keep those officers in your prayers. Final announcement, Healthy Heart, Spirit of Heart Week in Houston, Texas. On behalf of the Friends of Emancipation Park and the National Black Cardiologists of America, this will be Spirit 
of Heart Week. As a part of observance of doctors will visit wide Houston churches this weekend to bring awareness to the high rate of African Americans who die from heart disease. And those events will take place at Willow Avenue, Payne Chapel, By the Way Fellowship Church, St. Paul Missionary Baptist Church, and St. John's Missionary Baptist Church. So get your heart checked out and make sure that um, we stay healthy.